What's up, YouTube? This your boy T Kemp. Man, we got our ass whipped. Out coached, out played, everything, man. Sorry for this late response. It's been taking me a while to really let this soak in. Man. But you know what? <clears throat> Some good will come come of this. Some real good will come of this. I want to give a big congratulations to U USC. Y'all 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 did it. Y'all did it. But hey, that's what happens. That's why the SEC is SEC so strong. That's why we, you know, we we knock each other out. See that we dropped down to number eight, but that's cool. You know, like I said, uh, your boy Alshon Jeffrey, dude is a beast. He's a beast. Steven Garcia played a hell of a game. Hell of a game. You know, it was times that we could have we could have pulled it away, but you know, no excuses, no nothing. Y'all y'all actually beat us, man. Beat us fair and square. I mean, you can't ask for nothing better than that. Um, like I said, I'm just, you know, to, to be honest with you, I'm real glad that this kind of already happened so that way it don't happen later in the season. But, you know, it, if it didn't have to happen, then it, that would have been cool. But since it did happen, you know, I just want to let y'all know we're still in the top ten. So, like I said, if LSU keeps winning and Auburn keeps winning, you know, like I said, that means we going to win the West. And if USC, y'all have it so happen to win the East, we'll see y'all boys again. And I just want to let y'all know, if we see, if we see y'all again, it's going to be a totally different story. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a different story. Because it's like the people that's up there in front of us right now, we all know that they can't hold them spots for long. They gonna end up losing. Them. Cause once these BCS standards come out, everybody gonna start worrying about it and everything. And all the teams gonna be trying to keep their spot. And they, next thing you know, they gonna lose. And then we up there. So like I said, we got what Auburn in front of us at number seven. I can't remember who at number six. I think we got Nebraska at. No, number six is probably uh number six is Oklahoma. Then we got uh number Nebraska. Then you got TCU, Boise State. Then you got Oregon and Ohio State. Though I mean, just look at it, fellas. Look at it. It is. It is set up for us to come back at least. You know, to be at least number two. You got, I mean, you got Ohio State number one. I, I really believe they're going to either lose. They're going to lose to, you know, either Michigan or they gonna, or Iowa. They're going to lose to somebody, man. So, I mean, it's going to happen. It's, it's, it's Like they said, it's going to be a one-loss team going to the national championship. And, and like I said, I got my picks. It's going to be Bama and somebody else. So, you, you say what you want, say what you will. You know, I, I'm just telling you because – now we don't have that pressure on our back no more. And, you know, like I said, now we're we going to sit back. We're going to lick our wounds, you know, chill. We're going to lick our wounds and everything. And, you know, it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. So we got Ole Miss up next. Then it's Tennessee, Mississippi State, LSU, Georgia State. And then you got Auburn. Six games. Well, Ole Miss, pretty, pretty sure we're going to probably win that game after this devastating loss. Tennessee, pretty sure we're going to win that one. <laughs> Mississippi State, yep, another win. And then we got our bye week. Then it's, LSU, <clears throat> then it's LSU and Alabama 
in LSU. That's going to be a tough game. We pulled that one out. Then we got Georgia State. We already know that's another win. So now we got Auburn. Depending on if they stay undefeated or not. That's going to be a, a hell of a fire game. And guess what? We And they Auburn got to come to the big house. And the last time they came to the, our house, it was a 36-0 drudging. So, yeah, they got Cam Newton. But by that time, I really think that defense would beat them came around real good. No matter, It don't even matter how young they are at that point. So, like I said, we're going to see how that all works out and everything else. But I want y'all to come back to this video. I want y'all to come back to this video. And when you, and, and if it goes out the way I plan it to go out, I want y'all to say, damn, T. Kemp said it. I called it. But, you know, like I said, big, big congratulations to USC. You know, y'all deserve that win. You know, everything else, the best to y'all. You know, y'all y'all prepared for us and y'all did the right thing. Y'all stayed on top and y'all didn't lit up off the gas pedal. So, but, uh, you know, I'm still I'm still going to roll with my tide no matter what, win or lose. But like I said, because we already got a crystal ball. Everybody else is trying to get there. So, like I said, we still the defending champs. We, I mean, one loss, what would we do? Y'all just killed a perfect season. That's all y'all did. But like I said, I'm pretty sure y'all going to start seeing us back in the talks because we already know Boise State and TCU, they can go they can go undefeated. It don't matter about them going undefeated because they ain't playing nobody. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're going to stay at number three. They're probably going to drop when the BCS comes out because of how weak their schedule is. And they're going to have to blow everybody out. It can't even be a – a question or whatever, but we all know that that ain't gonna happen. So, anyway, congratulations to USC. You know, I'm eating my words. You know, crowing up. So, but like I said, the next time y'all see me, I'll be a little bit better than than, than I left you. So, like I said, roll tie roll. <laughs>